Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a short video and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, one of uh, the most important interview question and that is the difference between implicit measure and explicit measure. If you are new to Power BI and if you are trying to learn Power BI, you might have definitely heard about creating measures in Power BI. Uh, but if you don't know the difference between the implicit measure and the explicit measure and when to use either of them, then this video is for you. So let's get started. Let's talk about implicit measures first. We all like the things which have automatically created for us. Power BI, it has the ability to create some measures for us. So these measures are readily available for us. Any numerical data is summed up by the um, by the Power BI Power BI. If it sees any numerical measure by default, it it sums that data. So if you uh, look at the example here, and on the top you see the summarization here, right? So by default, this data is summed up. If you don't want it to be uh, summed up, you say don't summarize it. So by default. By default, because these cases are numerical count, Power BI usually uh, sums that data. So these implicit measures are created by Power BI for us to use it in the reports. These are readily available for us. You don't have to change the definition. If you just want to use the sum of uh, cases, if you just want to know the sum of COVID cases, then you just drag and drop it. This is how you use these um, implicit measures. You just drag and drop them. But let's say instead of sum, you take an average of it. Okay. So you change this to, you go to this uh, measure first. You go to this uh, implicit measure. And here on the top in the summarization section, you change this to average. Okay. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So this is sum of cases and if you want to get the average of cases, you get this data again and I'm um, just changing this to a table. Okay. So these are the, this is the um, data for average cases. Okay. So this is the um, average COVID cases. Okay. So what you're doing here is in the implicit measure, if you want to get a different measure you change the definition of it you change this sum of you change the summarization from sum to average if you just want to see another data you obviously have to change the definition of that implicit measure whereas explicit measure you can actually write your own measure you can explicitly define your measure here I'm creating a new measure with cases and here I can give it as sum of COVID cases okay and my measure is created and when I make this to a table again if you see this this implicit measures data and the explicit measures data is same and in the same way if you want to if you want to if you want to get average number of covid cases then you create another measure and you give it as average covid cases and and now you and now you have sum of covid cases average covid cases the counts match there's no difference in the counts but what but the main difference here is in the implicit measure you change you are changing the complete definition of that measure which is not right explicit measure you are explicitly defining the measure in explicit measure you are explicitly defining the formula if you want sum you are creating a formula for sum of covid cases if you want average you are creating a formula for average covid cases so so the main difference between implicit and explicit measures is implicit measures are created by power bi explicit measures are created by you you write the formula and create explicit measures 
implicit measures you cannot reuse those implicit measures but explicit measures but with as explicit measures if you create the sum of covid cases and this sum of covid cases you can use this measure in another measure if you want but for implicit measure you cannot do that if you look at the performance difference between implicit and explicit measures there's actually no performance difference between those two even the implicit measure behind the scenes it creates the same formula you write for explicit measure if you want some if you want to see sum of covid cases even for implicit measure power bi behind the scenes it creates the same formula you write it creates sum of covid cases behind the scenes it's the same there's no performance difference but the main difference would be the reusability and the flexibility reusability as i said you create the measure once and you can use this measure in another explicit measure and flexibility implicit measure it just have a few of them um, if you look at this implicit measure you can only use these ones you cannot um, you can only sum average minimum maximum count count distinct you can only use these summarizations for implicit measure whereas explicit measures you can use calculate functions you can use filter you can do a lot of things using explicit measure so these are the main differences between these two i hope this is clear now if you if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet Please do subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.